um, you know, being out for so long, like, can you tell if there's rust, if the timing is off a little bit? Like, can, can you realize, you know, I, I need to fix this, I need to work on that? I mean, you feel it, like, you, you but it's, to me, like, it's, yeah, you, you feel, you know, just little things, you know, maybe a shot you didn't get off as quick or mm -hmm. a punch you got hit with that you didn't get out the way of, but, you know, I found that when, when you don't abuse your body, I found that when you don't abuse your body, it comes back quick. You know, when you don't put poison in your body, when you don't smoke, when you don't drink, and 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 you know, when you don't party and stay out and do, stay out late and, and not get your rest and different things like that, like your body bounce bounces back quick, mm -hmm. in my opinion. And um, yeah, so I may feel little things in in in, in the beginning, but I think it, it it comes off quick. And the thing about the thing about me that I've learned too is like, even though I haven't been in the ring, like one of my best attributes and one of my biggest assets is my mind. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's like, I'm not the biggest guy, I'm not the strongest, I'm not the fastest, I'm not the flashiest, but my mind sometimes is the difference. So I'm always taking mental reps. Mm -hmm. I'm always taking mental reps. Like it's last year, I'm always taking mental reps. What am I trying to do? What, how am I trying to improve? You know, okay, I hear him saying this. What am, like, I'm always taking mental reps, and I find that when my mind is engaged on my sport and what I'm trying to do, the physical part is going to catch up. Mm -hmm. But if I wasn't thinking about boxing at all for the past year, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden I got a call and said I had a date, and then tried to flip the switch, that's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. But the mental reps is the important thing, because I'm engaged all the time. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, when it's time to put the physical work in, I've been doing that for years. We're going to work hard, and that's going to come, you know, come up to par. But, yeah, so the, the mental part is important. Is, is there a way to sharpen the mental part? I mean, is it, is it a matter of actually, uh, uh, you know, being in the ring, sparring, going through <clears> the motions, uh, you know, watching tapes and stuff like that, commentating on other yeah. people's fights? No, the, the commentating is big, too, because it keeps me around the sport. And, and again, it, it forces me to be engaged because I have a job to do. But I'm saying mental reps. When I say mental reps, I mean just... I'm always thinking about the sport. Mm -hmm. I'm always thinking about it, you know. And even, like, I haven't been watching a lot of boxing lately just because, you know, me and boxing haven't been getting along lately. <laughs> we just now starting to talk a little bit. <laughs> but I can't help but be aware of what's going on in my sport. Mm -hmm. And just, it's just always on my mind from things that I got to do to get better to, you know, things that I'm trying to accomplish. Just... Okay, man, I, you know, I was at the gym yesterday, I didn't feel right here. You know, it's always on my mind. Mm -hmm. When I'm with my kids, when I, you know, it's on my mind. So that's what I mean when I say mental reps. I don't, I don't do a lot outside of boxing um, besides, you know, be with my family and, you know, whatever I'm doing things with my fans and different things like that. I live a simple life, so this, this sport is always on my mind, man. And, I, and I, you know, you see that in a guy like Bernard Hopkins where – I don't look at myself like you look at Floyd and I look at Floyd like he's just got ability that's just out of this world like from the crib mm -hmm. and you add in his his work ethic and his mental and you have what you have and then you got guys like Bernard Hopkins who doesn't really have the skill but he maximized what he had because he was a different type of dude mentally mm -hmm. and I think I fall somewhere in between that where I got a lot of guy given ability but I wouldn't say that I can just I wouldn't say that boxing is easy to me. I feel like I've always had to work hard to 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 get sharp and to to you know accomplish what I've accomplished. I got to work hard. Like if I start slacking, you know they're gonna catch up type of thing. So when you don't feel like you have, you know, you're not ultra ultra talented, man, that pushes you. Mm -hmm. You know, I gotta run hard. Like I can't just, you know, say I gotta do the thing. I gotta go through my disciplines if I'm gonna be what I'm supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So. You know, it's all of that stuff combined, man, that, that, that makes me who I am.